Of course, it has its bad bit, but I think group activity in a subject is actually really helpful in terms of sharing knowledge. Because for me personally, if I study by myself, go through textbooks, go through lecture notes, go through online discussions, go through any extra materials, I still don't get enough exposure in terms of the way I learn um, a specific subject. Because for me, and for different, like for different individuals, they learn a specific subject or knowledge differently. So if, if you discuss with your friends or your, you know, your classmates in that subject, you actually see one point of the knowledge in a different view because some people might learn it differently. And then you can actually from there to see whether you're learning it properly or not. Because sometimes, especially for economics, you need a lot of, um, um, it's called chain der derivation. So you're going, for example, you want to know the end result. Why is this curve shifting right? Then you have to go through all these different um, connection points, like the consumption increases, then the um, national income goes up output goes up or whatever, right? Or there's different little points connect together. But if you don't discuss with your friends or if you don't discuss it with your um, lecturers, you really don't know whether there are some certain bits that you're missing or you're actually going a completely different wrong di um, direction just to get to the last bit. So if you don't discuss with your friends in terms of economics as well as actual studies, you might be able to reach the end result during the semester. But at the end, when you do the test for the exam, you're actually using the wrong technique or the wrong approach. So I think group activity is actually quite important for any subject. I think it's a little bit easier. I mean, instead of having to say something or discuss something in front of the entire class, you can just raise a point um, in front of two or three people. Um, and it might not be, it, it gives you a little bit of confidence. So you're taking some material and you're being able to convey it to your own peers on your own terms, um, in your own way. And that, that, that builds confidence and helps you to uh, understand the material a little bit more, I think. Um, so confidence is one thing. Uh, another thing is being able to, um, the, the reverse of that. So other students are able to teach you some things um, by conveying it in their terms. Um, and so it, it's, it's to hear it from another point of view, um, rather than from a textbook or a tutor, um, and to hear it in their own words is probably the most beneficial thing as well. I would say it's the part where you think you're right and you try to convince your mates that you're right and they're wrong. So to do that, you know how you, you have to start thinking of a very strong and valid point of how you're right and you have to try to think of really strong point how they are wrong. And meanwhile they would do the same thing. So um, you know it's a debate, debate goes on, but the, th the theory behind the concept required for the question will become um, more detailed and more correct as the debate goes on. Work group activities uh, in an assignment is, is a valuable tool. Like uh, teamwork, like with work group, what you learn, the best skill which you learn is teamwork. Uh, as in, in, in practical life, that's that's an essential tool which you need to learn to prosper in practical life and as well in, in your university as well. If you don't know how to, how to work in a team and if you don't know how to you know, listen to other person, it's, gonna, it's, it's a drawback for you. So uh, rather than, you know, what I prefer is rather than being, uh, being really bossy in, in, in a team, one stu a student should learn how to you know, work in a team because uh, and, 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 the, and the tutor can, you know, somehow make sure that, you know, they're working in a team as well. And there's something called as peer evaluation, which most of the universities do that. It's like, it's making sure that everyone is, you know, uh, putting an equal input. And someone is not, you know, being slack or someone is not bossing around. So that there's, uh, there's a perfect balance and perfect, perfect equilibrium uh, in, uh, in the work group. So, yeah, work group is essential. Is essential for it doesn't matter what field it is because uh, as I told you it's it's a valuable tool for for practical life and if they if they can start learning from uh, from their from their time in their in the university uh, 
it's gonna it's gonna help them uh, substantially. Sometimes the people that you put with, sometimes they might not be pulling their weight, and that might be a difficult task. And then you have to well, someone has to um, do that extra work. But um, I guess sometimes, yeah, that's the main, the uh, pro probably the main one. That's um, yeah, that's not good for a group. But if you talk to your group members and tell them that they're not pulling their weight, I think there's, yeah, you can sort it out. Yeah, sure. When it's when I've done my work and when I've got some things, some good things to say. Um, in terms of group work, I think, it, I think it needs to be more mandatory and you can't just put people in a group and expect them to get the benefits of group work. I think there needs to be some sort of um, monitoring or, I don't want to say regulation, regulation is too strong a word, but some sort of making sure that people um, are saying things. Um, and, I think, and I think going back to the tutor, the tutor needs to set the, um, set the tone for uh, like a warm, um, encouraging environment um, for everybody. Um, so I think that needs, I think when that happens students feel more inclined and more comfortable to be able to say things and to be able to raise points that might not be directly relevant to the course materials. Um, and again for group work I think it's important for the tutor to go around and, and make sure um, that the students are really getting the best out of that, not just one person's dominating or, or they're digressing or things like that. Like some pe in a lot of assignments, some people, one person may end up doing majority of it, and that's unfair to the other people. So maybe like longer tutorial times where people can like have time to work on the project together would m maybe more be useful. Similar to lecturers, just being um, able to uh, assess the environment, um, group dynamics. Some groups um, might. Uh, be considered like smart classes where you have a lot of um, students who read the readings and they're really up to speed and some s classes where the students aren't so um, keen on studying so they need to be able to tailor their teaching methods accordingly. Um, I find that when you have a random sort of uh, like where the lecturer puts you to a random group you might have some personality clashes or just you know you get put in a group where you end up thinking that you know it's not fair that I'm with these people, um, but I mean at the same time I can understand that you know um, it, the, the group should be fair throughout the whole cohort. You know, you know you can't have all the smart people in all those groups and all the remaining non-participants in another group because you know that that would just end up in really weird distributed results. So um, how would they how would the lecturers um, fix that? I I don't really know, but um, perhaps perhaps keep it random, but have some kind of marking criteria where each individual's participation is evaluated and evaluated confidentially and in a way that, um, you know, that they just won't get into trouble with. Yeah, I think it's actually really um, valuable. You're going to get a lot of complaints about group work, okay. Uh, I complain about it too. But I find that the more I do it, you just get um, used to it. And you'll find that because you're forced into it, you just have to make it work. Right, so I think it's a good thing, but it's only for, um, it depends on what you're getting assessed on. You know, if it's like a big project on a company, then you probably need a grit work. Because uh, from my experience, uh, with my second year subjects, they're only for the business administration part. Um, I did a lot of few group works and they were kind of average because we didn't know how to divide the task. No one was really leading. It was a kind of a mess at the very last minute. But this year I took charge of it. So I made everything structured. I gave everyone deadlines and I got everyone's input. So then it was a team effort. So that really worked for me. So that's why I think it's really important because you get value out of it from working with other people. Um, again, in the future, you're going to be, you know, most of the technical skills are going to be by either Chinese or Indians. Okay, so you're the accountants, IT, finance, right? 
But what you need to know is how to manage these. And you can't, and what the best chance, you know, the best chance is doing it at university when you can trial and error. Okay, and the students don't see the importance of that. Maybe it should be emphasized, you know. Uh, and also the culture difference, um, and also managing people in general. I think it's really important which you can do at university, which would not be the same if you did it at work, because it, when you do it at work, there's a lot more consequences.